this is another key uh, I took. I went to pick up another key. She's going to have this key now. Um, as I stated the other day when I came at 4 o'clock in the morning, this was at 4 o'clock in the morning, the light was on. Um, the door was not completely unlocked, but it was with this thing here. As this is basically the way I, I do it. I do it like this. I just do it like this. So that's a, that's a it it it's pushing basically against the key. This thing here, this which is quite soft. If you would compare this stuff. because i don't need that kind of stuff it's exactly the same thing as this i i don't need i don't need uh something tough to uh keep the key in place against something like that so that you're not going to get the wrong idea i just like this just use the rubber band basically to keep one so that from the outside the key cannot be pushed out that's just the purpose of that stuff no fucking way would i go and do something like this i am mechanical engineering technician and i'm also maintenance mechanic by profession i used to make keys in the school where i was we would make keys literally for the weekend houses, we would make the whole locks with the keys and stuff like this. This is crazy. Okay, this is insane. I, I wouldn't do this in a million years. And so, before I went to sleep, I did like this. I placed this stuff here like that. Just like this. So, it keeps the door locked. I have secured this stuff because I have demonstrated you how this just by doing just like this the whole thing latch jumps up and the doors open this doors all fucked up four o'clock in the morning you got a light on four o'clock in the morning 4 a.m with this key here however in a position like this like this just holding it briefly basically briefly fucking go i mean without this with that stuff set apart and just like this basically like ha 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 you know what i mean in that sense and it was either like this or uh, sorry it was like this which yeah you can just push from the outside just this is how it was that's that's all the fuck it was like this so what to make out of this stuff here when it comes to why am i talking about this either investigator or my mother investigator definitely did police investigator from novel to what i stated that's one thing now whether who committed this stuff here is impossible to tell because the key from the room next to mine that's my father's room he is in a possession of police it's in a possession of my mother that's upstairs right above here uh the room right next to the room i'm in upstairs um they, they could be individual inside 24 7 i would not have access to they have excuse a rational logical excuse for that matter it's because father has a fire weapons and it's a drawer in there that's locked that's what she's gonna say to police that's what she's gonna say to judge with police why it was the right thing of course to do it this way however don't you think that if i wanted to get a hold of those fire weapons i could go inside a million times 
and get it done without asking anybody. The door I'm talking about being locked is only locked since my father departed to a hospital and from hospital to a home for elderly people. Never ever before, therefore for like 50 years since this house was built, was that door closed. You understand? So what she is doing is something new. What she is doing is actually since my father departed to the hospital, since my father departed to home for elderly people a few months ago, half a year ago or whatever. Never before was that done. So what she is doing is malicious as anything can possibly be malicious, especially because during MKUltra torture inside of my room, which is right above here, went on for 26 years. Police was the one who was occupying the room, which is right next door to mine. Therefore, the room from my father. Always during all MKUltra sessions, it was always was the police that was based inside of the fucking room. So that's extremely, extremely, extremely malicious, dirty, filthy game. And this here, I don't like this stuff at all. This is ultimate disrespect for me. It's a scorn for the money. It's scorn for, for absolutely everything. I stood up for my entire life. It's a call for violence. It's not only violence, but it's a call for violence. It's not okay. It appears to me that the key finally is finished, really, completely. Aha, uh -huh. okay, oh, you were able to see this. Okay. Look, they had on the whole a lot of stuff with these doors. Um, it was all kinds of stuff that went on, and I don't have time to fuck with all the things they created, and with the computers, and with all kinds of stuff. Police one. This very costly key. A key like this probably I have no idea how much. This is very this is expensive stuff. So it was done today. It was done today within the last two hours. This definitely is not okay stuff. Not okay stuff. How can you possibly go? and destroy somebody 28 years of life and continue with the stuff like this is just um, beyond my understanding but this is Slovenia and Slovenia stood up a few days ago for European Union they did have their representative travel to um, to Europe in uh, to Brussels I think not Strasbourg, but Brussels. Uh, he was a schoolmate of Borut Pahor. And uh, this schoolmate acted like fucking stupid. To me personally, he never looked any different. But let's set opinions aside. Slovenia was more than willing to assist the European Union in crime against me by suggesting how nobody participated the session the session was completely close it was only this guy that was uh talking to himself inside in there uh and then at the same time um brought news home just a few days ago robert golop is his name on how slovenia was commanded they gave one from European Union recommendations that the law is prospering in Slovenia very well, everything is working very well. And then they triggered uh, by Olaf 
That's a European agency. Name is Olaf. Investigation against the Slovenian who runs some European Union department, whichever department that is. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a three fucks about because they work together. Um, let me explain something. I will be fucking judging you. You're not going to be fucking judging me. You got everything upside down. I am the one with the key in hands. I will be the one judging you. How, what, this and that. 28 years of crime from Brussels. Nothing other. No assistance, anything whatsoever. The number 28 confirms no assistance, crime only. I don't know how you want to go and write your story in the future. Whichever way is it that you decided you're going to run your story. But I explained you since 1995, Kochan, Milan Kochan, Borut Pahor will not be. These are not the people from here. These are not Slovenian people. You don't understand what the fuck I told you in 1995. Since 1995, what the fuck I repeated you. You don't understand? You will understand. Don't worry about it. So, mom is going to get this key now. I have to do it for my safety reasons. Because the police promised he's going to go and he's going to crack the lock. He's going to stay inside. Then it's going to be a big problem. Prevention is always better than... Um, you go figure out. I'm just, you're so fucking demented in Brussels. So rotten. For your Buckingham Palace, for your British. Whom, by the way, British alone cannot stand in Britain. That I just have to help you out. If I don't help you out, you're going to go and you're going to have this stuff even broken next time. Okay, so consider this as a form of assistance for me. I'll help you out. Autocrats in Brussels.